Factsverse presents 100-Year-Old Life Hacks That Are Surprisingly Useful Today Number 1. Removing a Splinter A century ago, tweezers were not invented. Therefore, when a person got a splinter when they were working with wood, they had to find another way to remove the splinter. The method that they used back then is actually more effective and less painful than using a pair of tweezers. Back then, they would fill a wide-mouthed bottle with hot water. They would press the bottle over the area of the body that has the splinter. The suction from the bottle would pull down the flesh, and the hot water would draw out the splinter. Number 2. Cutting Bread Into Even Thin Slices Most people struggle to cut a loaf of bread evenly. Unless the bread is hot right from the oven, it can be difficult. The people who lived 100 years ago had a great method of cutting bread that can be useful for people today. Before you cut the bread, soak the knife in hot water until the blade heats up. When it's hot, remove it from the water, wipe it quickly to dry it, and cut into the bread. The heated blade will go through the bread quickly and easily. It's very simple, and it makes you wonder why people stopped doing this in the first place. Number 3. Separating Two Glass Tumblers If you put two tumbler glasses together and they get stuck, it can be difficult to separate them. If you don't do it carefully, the glasses could break. If this happens, not only will you be out two glasses, you also risk cutting yourself. If you want to separate the glasses safely and easily, do it the way they did it a hundred years ago. All you need to do is put cold water in the upper glass and soak the bottom glass in warm water. The two different temperatures will make the two glasses come right apart. Number 4. Reviving Cut Flowers If you have flowers that have started to fade before you could get them in water, all is not lost. The flowers can be saved as long as you know how they did it a hundred years ago. Take the faded stems and put them into hot water. Allow them to stay in the hot water until the water cools down. By that time, the flowers will have revived. Now you can cut the stems like you would normally and put them in a vase of cold water. It's the best way to keep your flowers looking beautiful longer. Number 5. Make a Fire Extinguisher if there's a grease fire in the room, water will not put it out. You'll need a fire extinguisher. If you don't have one handy, you can make your own like they did a hundred years ago. You can make a few bottles so that you'll always have some on hand. All you need is two quarts of water, a pound of salt, and a half pound of sal ammoniac. Start by dissolving the salt and the sal ammoniac in the two quarts of water. Pour the mixture into two one-quart bottles. If a fire starts, you can pour one of the bottles onto the flames. It's the best way to put a fire out quickly and safely. Number 6. Draw a duck without lifting the pen Okay, this may not be a life-saving skill or something that'll make your life easier, but it is kind of a cool trick that'll impress your friends. All you need to do is make several loops for the duck's wings and then draw a line to the tail and make more loops for that. Finally, make a line to create the bottom of the duck and move up to create the duck's head and the beak. This diagram makes it look just as simple as it actually is. Number 7. Testing Butter or Margarine If you're not sure if you're about to spread butter or margarine on your bread, you can easily figure it out the way the people did a hundred years ago. All you need to do is spread the butter on a piece of paper and set it on fire if it's pure butter, it will smell just a bit and the odor will be pleasant. If it's margarine, it'll have a very unpleasant smell when you burn the paper. Since butter and margarine today are labeled, you might not need this method, but if you come across butter in a butter dish and you're just not sure, you can use this method. Number 8. The Trick to Boiling Potatoes If you're boiling potatoes and you want them to be dry and floury, you can use the same trick they used 100 years ago. When you're boiling the potatoes, add a pinch of salt. When the potatoes are done, you can drain them and put them back in the pan and over the heat for a few minutes. Make sure you shake the pan so that the potatoes dry evenly. Number 9. How to judge the weather Most people check their phone or they watch the news to check the weather for today. If you don't have either of these handy, you can use the clouds to judge the weather. You need to look at a small cloud in the distance. If the cloud gets larger, you can expect rain. If it gets smaller, you can expect a clear day. Number 10. Treating the pain of a sprain 
If you sprain your ankle or your wrist, you can make it feel better the same way they did a century ago. Elevate the injured area and wrap it in wet cloths. To keep the cloth wet, leave a strip of the cloth in a jug full of water. Make sure the jug is higher than the injured limb. The water will pass from the jug to the strip. Number 11. Keeping cut flowers fresh during a long trip. If you're traveling and you want your flowers to live, all you need is a potato. Cut holes in the raw potato and put the bottom of each stem in one of the holes. This will keep them fresh for a week or more. Number 12. Fit a candle in a candlestick. If you have a candle that's too large for your candlesticks, don't cut the candle. Simply soak the candle until it is soft. You can then shape the soft candle into a size that will fit firmly into the candlestick. Number 13. How to stop a runaway horse. This isn't a problem most people run into, however, it is a good skill to know, just in case. If you want to stop a runaway horse, you should run alongside the horse with your hand closest to the grip, but keep your body clear. With your free hand, catch the reins and pull the horse. Never jump or wave your arms. It'll only scare the horse, making him run faster. Number 14. Light a match in the wind. Lighting a match in the wind can be difficult. To be sure it lights, you should peel the wood in three places close to the tip of the match. When you light it, the wind will catch the folded pieces of wood, making it light every time. Number 15. Cleaning up broken glass. This is one of the 100-year-old life hacks that is surprisingly useful even today. It can be difficult to clean up broken glass. You can get a cut during the cleanup, and it's not uncommon to leave small slivers of glass on the floor. To clean it all up, you simply need a wet cloth. Dab the area with the cloth and it'll pick up all the shards of glass. Subscribe for more!